Hey guys, I hope you're well. Today I'm going to show you how to do this 70s inspired makeup look, which is perfect for any glam festive parties you're going to in the next few weeks. If you want to know how to do this look, then keep watching. Now first up, I'm going to be using my Estee Lauder Stay In Place eyeshadow base. I'm putting that all over my eyelid. Now this Urban Decay Ultimate Base Palette is perfect for this look. It's got great matte shades. I'm using Nude all over my eyelid, first of all. I've just got my hands on one of these palettes. I've done a review video, so check that out if you want a couple of kind of day to night looks using this palette. I'm then just going to use blow. Again, you're kind of like really working that into your socket line. And then I'm just going to blend those two eyeshadows. So once you've really blended those two eyeshadows in, you're gonna get a darker shade. So first of all, I'm going to get Lockout. I'm just gonna put this in the corners of my eyes and then through the socket line. So you really wanna kind of outline that socket because you're not going to be blending there. I'm then going to get to my Blackout. This is a really deep black shade. And then again, sweep that through your socket line gently. Then actually take that line as far as you like into your socket line. And then I'm just gonna blend in the corners. Sweep that over your socket line, but don't really blend because you want that obvious line. Just adding a little bit more of the black out into the corners. At this point, I get my Black Track Gel Eyeliner from MAC. This wants to be a nice thick line. I've done a video on how to do the perfect eyeliner, so check that out if you struggle. You just want it to be nice and thick, particularly at the edge, and then just drag it out so you've got a slight kind of flip. God, I haven't worn eyeliner for so long, I've been really lazy. It really does finish off your look. And take that gel eyeliner at the top of your waterline as well. Once you've done your eyeliner, just have a little clear up under your eyes. I'm always like dragging my eye around when I do my eyeliner, so that's why I always do my eyes first when I do like heavy eyeliner particularly. At this point, I'm just going to use my under eye concealer from Clinique, which is number two medium, just to really get into those bags. So I'm just going to be using a mixture of my 50 and 30 Vitalumia um, foundation, only because I've got a little bit of a tan from Mauritius, which don't worry, will go in seconds because it's absolutely freezing in London. <laughs> Mauritius was gorgeous. I kind of wish I was still there, but I do love London at Christmas. So it's nice to come back to Christmas music and lights. If anyone gets a chance to go and see the lights in London, do. They're stunning. They've got these lovely angels, glistening angels all along Regent Street. So really work that foundation in. I'll take that under my eyes as well and really pat that in. And over my lips because I'm going to go for a nude lip for this. Now under my lower water I'm going to use some of this Lockout, so the brown. This is a matte brown and I'm just going under my lower water line and brown. I'm going to be wearing this look for my Christmas parties for sure. I always wish I'd been born in the 70s. When I was close, I was in the 80s. <laughs> but actually, I wish I'd been born maybe in the 60s and then grown up and like gone out in the 70s. I love the outfits, like I love a good set of flares and I always wish I had an afro. <laughs> no, really, I do. I'm going to take a little bit of the black, black out as well and just do that in the corners of my lower waterline. I know people like the dewy look, but actually I'm going to go for my Studio Fix powder because this will really make sure the look sets and stays in place all night. This is NW25. Then you don't need to keep reapplying powder all night. If you've got really good skin, you could just put the Studio Fix on. You don't even need foundation. It's heavier than your normal powder. Next up for contouring, I'm using my Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Bronzer. Really bronzing those cheekbones. From Urban Decay, I'm just going to use my Brow Tamer just to really kind of lift up those brows. I haven't used this before actually, and it's really good. It keeps them kind of like lifted and in place, but also kind of tints them a little bit as well. At this point, I'm just going to use my Max Factor 2000 Calorie Mascara and just do my top and bottom lashes. If you want to add a strip of lashes, do at this point. But I'm just going to go for it with mascara. For a true 70s style, you've definitely got to put mascara on your bottom lashes. So I've just laid up a lot of mascara to get this look. Um, it's quite important for a 70s look to have a lot of mascara on your lashes. <laughs> so I've probably got about 100 layers of mascara on, but it's worth it. <laughs> so take your time and uh, try not to smudge it all over your face if possible, <laughs> like I normally do. Now this is a new shade that I've been sent by Urban Decay and it is called Insanity. And um, it's a really lovely nude, so I'm just going to give this a go. Because if you've seen me on other videos, you know I love a nude lipstick. That is a really pretty nude and is perfect for my look. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick kind of like festive party makeup look. I think it's a good alternative to the classic kind of like throw all the glitter on your face <laughs> makeup look, which we often do at Christmas. We can't help ourselves. We all love a bit of glitter. Um, if you have enjoyed my video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel, Carla Marie Makeup, where you can check out all my other hair and makeup videos. And I look forward to seeing you all soon.